the point. WDEF News 12 at 6, live in HD, starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Mercer. And I'm Amy Ketcher. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. The Walker County School Superintendent says statements from the Freedom From Religion Foundation are puzzling and disturbing. Damon Raines today responded to the latest demands from the Wisconsin-based group. It says pregame meals and religious statements by the head coach are illegal. WDEF News Hall's Bill Mitchell has more in tonight's Top Local Story. Another football night in North Georgia and another pregame meal for players at Richland High. After an exchange of letters going back to midsummer, the district and the Freedom From Religion Foundation have not found any agreement about whether federal laws are being broken. In a letter Thursday, Superintendent Damon Rain says the group is mischaracterizing some of the facts. Well, they came back with a, a response that said we were still using the Bible as a motivational tool, which we talked about that in the letter, and also the taking the the, the uh, taking the kids to a church for that pregame meal. Uh, that they still contend that that's unconstitutional. Freedom from Religion has cited football coach Mark Mariakis saying he encourages churches to prepare pregame meals and that school buses are used to take the team there. We typically don't go to the, uh, the, the, uh, the church itself. We go to a, uh, an activity building or a gymnasium. We're there about 15 minutes. We're back on the bus and back to school. Rain says those issues have been addressed. First of all, I wanted to make sure that we were in compliance with the law. We, we don't ever want to have a student that's put in a situation where they feel uncomfortable. So we, we tried to address that. As for the meals, the school district is challenging freedom from religions using a ruling from the wrong circuit court. What they're quoting is out of the 7th, I think the 7th district. We're in the 11th district, and there's, there's not a law uh, that, that states that that can't happen. Rain says with his last letter, he considers the issue closed. In Walker County, Bill Mitchell, WDEF News 12. Unlike some groups targeted by the Freedom From Religion Foundation, there are no pregame prayers at Ridgeland High School football games. The issue is those pregame meals and motivational talks by the coach. A single car accident took the life of the driver this morning. It happened at 4400 Bonnie Oaks Drive. Witnesses told police the car drove off the side of the road and into a ditch. The driver was pronounced dead at the scene. There were no passengers in the vehicle. Police are investigating that accident. Well, longtime Dunlap Vice Mayor James Dan Barker has resigned this after his DUI arrest in Knoxville over Labor Day weekend. Barker will remain on the commission. He has served as an elected city official for 21 years. Eastridge police investigate a robbery at Max Highway Market today. The suspect threatened the clerk with a handgun demanding money. He then fled on foot with money taken from the registers. A patrol unit arrived under one minute, but he was already gone. He was wearing jeans, a dark-colored hoodie, gloves, and a camouflage face mask. If you have any information, please call Eastridge Police. Well, whether it's a tornado relief or a 100-car pileup, the Salvation Army knows how to handle disasters. And today, they brought volunteers up to date on how to help with disaster relief efforts. Volunteers learn how to help victims recover both physically and emotionally. Disaster is um, kind of a broad term, but we're, we're preparing these folks to serve, to be there and be able to provide water, food, emotional and spiritual care. Sometimes you just, a little kind word, encourage them to, you know, stay with it. If you'd like to volunteer with the Salvation Army and learn how to help disaster victims, visit our website. It is WDEF.com. A ribbon cutting for five brand new retailers kicked off the weekend. WDEF News Hall's Brittany Shaw caught up with some of the new entrepreneurs as we cover our local economy. Carrie Pendergrass quit her job as an art teacher to open a new business on the 800 block of Chestnut. Her shop, sewn to the sky, is one of the five new retailers River City Company chose to help breathe new life into empty downtown spaces. Really it was something that I thought maybe I would do later on in life and um, this opportunity just kind of came up at a time when I was sort of ready for a change and it worked out really great. That opportunity was River City Company's Project Pop-Up, a call for existing or hopeful business owners to strengthen and diversify the local economy. The whole idea is to turn a dead area of downtown into a retail incubator. The shared goal of River City Company and the retailers is that the businesses are successful enough to become long-term tenants. The retailers had to provide the concepts and labor in exchange for six months free rent at City Park, plus help with marketing and development. Daylight Donuts co-owner Tony McGinnis says he couldn't have opened this bright corner retail space without the help of the project. We're very excited. Project Pop-Up allowed us to, to come here now 
Um, otherwise, we wouldn't be opening the shop in downtown. It was on our radar, but it was pretty far out, and it certainly put us on the speed track. Over 15,000 square feet was overhauled to transform office spaces into kitchens, craft centers, and gaming areas. And the new businesses have provided 35 new jobs turning these former employees into employers. In Chattanooga, Brittany Shaw, WDEF News 12. Former city officials say if the city park project pop-up goes well, they hope to improve the variability in other downtown areas. For more information on the retailers, you can visit our website. It's WDEF.com. Now, your Storm Team 12 24-hour forecast. Live here at Saudi Daisy, it's Friday night tailgate time, getting ready for touchdown Friday night, and uh, it's going to be a big night here in Saudi Daisy, Central coming to town, but it's big because of what? Is it today? Homecoming? Homecoming! Homecoming. Everybody's ready, and uh, should have a big crowd. Weather-wise, you can't complain. It has been a fantastic week. Should be a great night for football. Here's that Sorrentine 12 forecast for the next 24 hours. Uh, around bit game time, we should be into the mid, maybe upper 70s by kickoff. Cooling down, should be a nice night tomorrow. Another warm day, but cooling down later on with a breeze out of the northwest picking up with temperatures dropping through the 70s. How would you like to talk to an astronaut while they're in space? Some local students did just that today. We'll have their reactions next. And there's some free medical services at Camp Jordan this weekend. The details are coming up. What's the next big idea? Thank you, Jim. The answer is roast beef. Roast beef. Very groovy. Delicious. It's hot in here. Now, when we get to the meat of a... The pigeon has a big idea. We slice turkey thin and serve it hot like our roast beef. That's brilliant. Bam. Behold! Arby's new hot turkey roasters. Piled high and served hot. It's the greatest thing since sliced roast beef. Bam. Hi, I'm Eddie Brooker. Come check out our end of summer sales event going on now at North Georgia Toyota. The 2012 SUV year in clearance is going on now at North Georgia Toyota. Get 0% APR for 60 months or $1,000 dealer cash on all rav fours. Get 0% APR for 60 months or $1,250 dealer cash on Highlanders. Plus 0% APR available on 13 different models. Hurry while selections are still good. They're going fast. Experience the difference in Dalton only at North Georgia Toyota. Come see it. Thanks to your nominations, Bilo and WDEF News 12 uplift outstanding teachers with a